The festive season, I absolutely love this time of year. Sun shining, cool blue ocean behind, and ultimately a time to be out there with the family. But it is also awfully expensive, but thankfully Honda have brought us this, the all new Amaze, a car which seems to do it all. It's spacious, it's practical, and above everything, it's incredibly affordable. So let's get behind the wheel, spend a bit of time discussing why I've loved driving it over the December season period. These days there are many cars which are out there to amaze. Honda themselves bring you the likes of the very sporty and powerful Civic Type R. If you want something SUV from the brand, you get something like the CRV or the HRV. And then if you want something which is affordable and seems to kind of do it all, what's wrong with this, the all new Honda Amaze? Now over the festive time of year, Let's face it, there are many massive expenses you have out there. You're going out, you're seeing friends, you're with the family. I've been given this car and I've chosen to spend time with it because it just seems to encompass so much in the way of value. As you drive it along, you notice it's spacious, it's practical, and it's comfortable. This interior, for instance. I love the way there's this two-tone style interior. You get the different soft touch materials throughout the interior, and then ultimately, the way it's blended with the cream and black just really looks elegant and really looks rather premium. It also is all perfectly matched to what is still a comfortable style of vehicle to drive, a sedan. Now the Amaze is available as either this, the one I've got today, the five-speed manual gearbox, or you get it mated to Honda's CVT, a continually variable transmission. In terms of power and engine delivery, it's got a 1.2 litre four-cylinder motor, very peppy little motor, really gets the job done. It chucks out 66 kilowatts of power, 100 newton meters of torque. They're claiming a fuel economy figure combined of about 5.6 litres per 100 on this, the manual, and just slightly more with the CVT. It's a figure which I'm inclined to believe because having spent a lot of time driving it, it does seem to be a very fuel efficient car to drive and ultimately one that puts the power down pretty well, especially once you've got it going and you're on the move. Go back to then. Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just Now where Amaze makes a lot of sense is, apart from being rather comfortable to drive, despite its compact body on the outside, you find it is rather comfortable on the inside. To show you a bit more, let me pull to the side of the road now, we'll see what it's like sitting in the back, as well as that of its luggage load area and its boot. Seated here in the back, it really is a comfortable place to be seated. Again, they've continued the theme of the two-tone interior, which I find rather stylish. You also find the seated behind myself. I can fit in here still pretty comfortably. Headroom's pretty good too. I've got a power outlet socket here and ultimately my own electric window controls. It really is a decent place to do a journey and it's got enough space. So let's now move on to the back and take a look at the luggage load area and open up the boot. The Amaze features a rather large cavernous boot. When you pop it open, you find that despite this being a rather compact car, it still manages to offer impressive boot space and it's quite deep. Having lived with the Honda Maze over the festive season, I really can tell you what it's like owning a car like this or driving it on a day-to-day -day basis. And I really can tell you that it has impressed me no end. It just manages to couple ultimately affordability, comfortable interior space and so much in the way of practicality. With prices starting at just below 180,000 Rand, the maze really does just that. <laughs> 